What's up guys? In this video, we're gonna learn how to build super high converting Facebook and Instagram ads using Canva. If you run any sort of SaaS agency or social media marketing agency, and you're trying to give ads to your clients that work really well, this is gonna be the video to watch. Please remember to like and subscribe as it really helps out my channel and allows me to give you guys more free content just like this video. If you've never heard of Canva, I don't know if you've been living under a rock your whole life or maybe you're just new to marketing. We'll just go with that. You're new to marketing, you haven't heard of Canva, um, but all jokes aside, Canva is an awesome platform. It allows us to build out really cool ads, um, little designs like this that can move around with text and visuals. Really great place to put our ads together. Really great place to put our ads together. Then we can export them and bring them into our Facebook ads manager so that we can actually run them. But this is where we're gonna build them out. Canva is free and you can do most of everything inside of Canva for free but their paid plan, it's like 12 bucks a month, so it's not gonna break the bank. It just has a lot more features, a lot more elements and like little images that you can use. And so I do recommend using the paid plan. This is not a sponsored video. I just really love the paid plan because of all the extra features that it offers. To start building our ad, we're gonna go up to create a design and then we're gonna go down to custom size. The best pixel size for Facebook and Instagram ads is gonna be 1200 by 1500. These dimensions here are gonna allow you to take up a lot of space on the Facebook and Instagram feed as people are scrolling. And so that's why we go with these dimensions. We'll just hit create new design. All right, so now we've got this blank canvas. It's the perfect size for Facebook and Instagram as people are scrolling. And so we can use this to now design our ad. We can drag in different shapes and elements. We can do text, uh, photos, videos, all these different things that we can bring onto our ad here. In this design tab here, there's already a bunch of pre-built templates that Canva gives you. You can even search a specific niche. Let's say our niche is like real estate. We can type in real estate and there's all these real estate templates we can choose from. Let's say we wanted to do this one right here. It'll automatically bring this template in and we can change different elements on it. Let's say this own your right here. We wanted to like move it. We can move it up and down. Let's say we wanted to change it. We can go in and edit it to say something different, yada, yada, yada. If you're gonna use these templates over here that Canva provides, then make sure it's one that is clear and not too jumbled. There's some of these that are like really hard to read and the harder your ad is to read and the more it has going on, the less likely you are to convert because you'll lose interest. You need something that's super easy, clear to understand, maybe just a single headline kind of like this one right here with just a little bit of text to read. Mainly what's gonna grab people's attention is your image or video if you decide to go with video. So let's say I wanted to create a video ad inside of Canva. I'm just gonna delete this one out of here and start from scratch again. And then I'm gonna go over to my uploads. And now that I'm in my uploads, I can select videos and I can select from the different videos that I've uploaded in here from my computer. Let's just say I wanna go with this one of this house. I could then go in and like drag this house out so that it fills out this canvas a little bit better. I can bring it to the bottom and now I have all this space up at the top since this video is a square video. I have space at the top now that I can bring in a headline. I could change the color of the background here. Let's say I wanted it to be black instead. Now I've got a black background and now I can bring in some text. Let's say I wanted to add in a headline. We've got our headline now. I can drag this up to the top. It's white so it contrasts well and is easy to read against this black background. So now we've got our headline box in here. We can type in a headline that will catch people's attention as they're scrolling. For this one, since it's showing a house in this video, we could say something like, um, buy this home for 0% down. And you can see the 0% down is going into the video a little bit. And so what we could do here is we can actually change the line spacing and we can bring this up a little bit so that it all fits on the black space here. And now we have a headline that catches people's attention. Buy this home for 0% down. That's pretty interesting and intriguing that you can buy a home without any money down. Maybe this isn't your exact niche or maybe this home doesn't qualify for a 0% down loan, but this is just an example of something that would catch people's attention. That's really the name of the game on getting a lot of leads at a cheap cost. And then from there, you can talk about the different products or services that you offer. Maybe these people don't even need the zero down loan, but that's just what caught their attention. And then you can sell them on a different product or even a different home. Maybe they end up not going with this home, but at least you collected 
their name, email, and phone number, and you were able to get in touch with them so you could then do business with them. These type of ads do really well because they have a main headline that catches people's attention, and then it has a video that's also playing and going along with what the headline says. This one's of a beautiful home, and I guarantee you this ad here will get leads at less than $4 a piece on Facebook and Instagram. Um, but let's say you don't have a beautifully edited video like this. We can take this one out of here and we can also delete this headline and maybe we change the background back to white and we could go in and we could choose from one of these designs. Right here at the top, let's type in list and let's see if there's any options that look good as a list. Right here, I like this one. So now I've got this template here. It looks like there's a little bit too much going on. So I'm gonna delete some of these like little dots out of here. I'm actually just gonna make it like one color. I'm gonna delete these little elements out of here where it has different colors and these stripes and stuff. So now I've just got a pretty basic template here to go off of. I don't like this notes thing right here. So I'm gonna delete this and delete that. And then I'm gonna drag my headline a little higher. I'm gonna enlarge it so that people can see it a lot easier and then I'm gonna drag it to the middle. Let's say this is an ad for a mortgage company. We could say um, first time home buyer loans, something like that. And now we can take this white area and we can drag in some subheadings. So I'm gonna drag in one here, and then I can actually select this one and I can duplicate it. And so I have another one that can go right below it and duplicate it again, another one and another one. So now we've got four subheadings that we can type in some info. Super easy to digest because they're all separated on different lines. So we can type in some of the basic features of this first time home buyer loan program for this mortgage company. We could say something like only 600 credit score. And then we could say something like no down payment. And then for the third one, we could say low interest rates. And then I can't really think of anything for this fourth one, so I'm just gonna delete this. And then I'll drag these down, um, space them out a little bit. And then this one right here is too long, so I'm gonna take out this end part where it says credit score. And so now it's a little bit easier to digest. And then also I'm gonna jump over to the elements tab and I'm gonna search for a check mark. And so there's all these different options for check marks. I'm just gonna use this one right here and I'm gonna make it a lot smaller and then I'm gonna put a check mark in front of each one of these, kind of like a bullet point. And then we would just move around this text accordingly so it looks nice. And then if we want, if we don't like the green, we can change the color of this check to be red so that it matches with the rest of this template. But now that I think about it, red might not be the best color for this type of ad. Red can come off as a threatening color, so I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna change the color and I'm gonna change it maybe to a light blue color, something like this and then I can change the red to the same blue color and it looks a little bit less threatening. And then maybe this white text doesn't pop as much on this blue background anymore and we want people to be able to read it better. And so we can click on this text and click on effects and we can put a little bit of a shadow behind the text so that it pops out a little bit more or a lift. And so now the text kind of pops out more on this ad. And so, and so now we can put our company's logo at the bottom here, um, but this is a pretty good looking ad. And now we just want to animate it because it's still right now, it's a still image, but we want it to move and fade in and out. So there's these options here where it can fade in from the left to the right. Then we can do some different types of fades here. We just want something that moves. So when people are scrolling, it catches their eye. If it's just a still image, it doesn't catch their eye. Video ads convert way better than photo ads. And so you want it to move this simple fade right here, I like. And so now we've basically turned a still image into a video. And so we can change the time duration of this video. And so we can make this video like 15 seconds. So it gives people time to read everything on it. And so now that we've got it set at 15 seconds, we can hit play up here and it'll show us what our ad will look like and it'll play for 15 seconds, and then it will fade in again after 15 seconds. So now that you've gotten your ad set up, you can go to share and then download, and you can download a copy of this ad right here, and you can bring it into your Meta Ads Manager and run it as an ad for your business. The main couple things to remember when you're building out your ads in Canva, 
One, video ads work way better than photo ads. They'll convert a lot better. And so always do some form of video. If it's a video that you filmed, great. If it's one of those Canva ads and it just fades in and out, that's fine as well. But video ads are always gonna do better. Number two, make sure your ad is easily digestible. You don't want a bunch of jumbled text and images and it's all over the place. You wanna have it where it's easy to read, maybe put bullet points like we did in this example. And just make sure people understand what the ad is about. When you put your headline text at the top of the ad, you wanna make sure to call out who that specific ad is for. Um, so that if your headline says home buyers, then anybody who's looking to buy a home will stop on that ad and read it. Those are some really simple things to remember, but things that go a long way and will help you make a lot more money and be more profitable running Facebook and Instagram ads. If you guys are trying to build out these ads for your social media marketing agency or your SaaS agency, there's a link down below this video where you can get a free trial of Go High Level. Go High Level is an all-in-one marketing platform that helps with your social media marketing agency or your SaaS agency and can help you a ton in building all of that out. Please remember to like and subscribe as it really helps out my channel, allows me to give you guys more free content. Other than that, guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.